This is the story of five forward-looking cities that have experienced a creative pivot in their history, key moments that position them for economic growth and urban development, attracting new residents and businesses, luring investment and tourists, Recognizing the role of culture, media and the arts as economic drivers is key to understanding a city's rising prosperity. In music-centric Austin, the 1980s ushered in a new high-tech era when a collaboration of government, university, business and private citizens attracted two major technology manufacturing consortiums. Over the next decade, the city's population doubled and Austin added 100,000 new IT jobs. In the late 1980s, the South by Southwest Music Festival kicked off, helping to accelerate Austin's diversified creative economy. Today, the tech sector, combined with Austin's still-growing population and its booming real estate market, helped to explain the city's continuing prosperity. In 2001, Mexican billionaire Carlos Slim joined forces with government leaders to restore and renovate Mexico City's historic center, which was badly damaged in the 1985 earthquake. This refurbished 16th century jewel attracted new shops, restaurants, galleries, and tourists. The opening of two major new museums, along with top galleries and global art festivals, has helped put Mexico City's creative life on the international stage, reinvigorating the city's already established TV and film industries, while helping foster growth in digital media, growing global tourism, strong foreign investment, and an increasingly educated workforce are all factors in the city's continued growth and prosperity. The fall of the Berlin Wall in 1989 was a momentous event for Germany and the world. It ushered in a period of dynamic artistic and creative experimentation in which artists and other creative professionals could benefit from cheap rents, abandoned and other free spaces for working. The re-establishment in 1999 of Berlin as the reunited Germany's capital intensified massive new building and drove growth in everything from publishing to film to visual arts and music. It also made the city a magnet for global tourism, along with financial and real estate investors. In Mumbai, economic liberalization policies enacted since the early 1990s have eased restrictions on foreign investment in various sectors. Media and entertainment industries have seen the rise of new cable and satellite TV networks, new investment in film production and the debut of foreign-owned magazines. This helped set Mumbai's Bollywood film industry on a path to rising exports, to an expanding Indian diaspora and a vast global audience with better productions, increasing use of special effects and animation more reliable funding and a growing appetite for Indian fashion, music and culture. The glamour of Bollywood adds to the allure of the city, which as India's commercial capital is home to some of the subcontinent's wealthiest and attracts migrants from all over looking for a better life. In the 1990s, South Korea targeted information technology and content creation, such as media, for growth. In 1999, following the Asian financial crisis, the government aggressively pushed for broadband development, calling for a cyber career. Seoul has become the world's most digitally connected city. Its population has embraced new creative activities, such as online movies, K-pop, and digital gaming, which attract millions to competitions both online and in specially built arenas. Seoul's creative industries have motivated new real estate development, a robust entertainment export industry, and growing international tourism. Taken together, these five forward-looking cities have not only benefited from creative pivots and resulting improvements in quality of life, they are witnessing the benefits in their economies more broadly. To be sure, there will be other cities determined to join this creative club.